Hey there, Fro here again with another episode of Fro Rage. And today, I want to talk about uh, a little mobile game that's gotten pretty popular and, you know, it's on Twitch a lot of stuff and just blowing up stuff. Clash Royale, or I was like to call it pay to win in, in this fucking game, Royale. <sighs> let me just get, let me just start off by saying that I do enjoy the game. It is enjoyable, although very infuriating because it's... <sighs> When you lose to someone that literally isn't better than you, just the fact that they have better cards because they fucking threw out money just fucking because they don't care, fucking spend hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars on the game, that's irritating. Like, 95% of people that are fucking high in that game and fucking in the leaderboard and shit, oh, they're not, they're not they're the fucking skill and skill players. They just fucking spend the most money. It is the most pay-to-win game I've ever seen. I mean, it is a definition of mobile trash in that department. Let me lay it out for you. You have four chest slots. You can only open one chest at a time. And the shittiest chest, the silver chest, takes three hours alone to open. Or 18 gems. Granted, the gems are fucking impossible to come by because there's only like fucking five achievements in the game. And you get like fucking 60 gems total from the fucking five achievements. And like, out of the, the daily chest and the fucking... The crown chest and fucking like giant chest and better chest. You only get like two gems, two to three gems out of uh, each chest. So eighteen gems just to finish opening that uh the, the shittiest chest, the silver one. Gold chest takes eight hours to open. Giant chest takes twelve hours, then so sixteen hours, twenty hours, so on and so forth, whatever. So you only have four chest slots. You can't delete a chest. So you ha you're forced to open a chest. So you have four chest slots f filled up with fucking shitty silver chests. You literally can't play a game for three hours. Let alone if it's fucking something else, you can't play a game for eight hours. I mean, you can get your trophies up like that fucking means anything. But you get to a certain point where, you you know, like I am, you're the highest thing. You have the chance. I'm in the highest ring where you can lock any card in any chest. But what's the fucking point in getting more trophies? Because you're just going to fight harder people that fucking spent more money on the game. And you're fucking end up losing. So you have to sit there, just not play the game then for fucking three to three to fucking twenty hours, depending on how long you just for the chest you're opening, or you can just fucking spend gems and spend money on it. So they're basically just like you know, just spend money. That's all. You, if you want to, if you want to be good at Clash Royale, just fucking open up with that checkbook and fucking throw it down. That's all fucking matters. And if that's not enough for you. Actually, opening a chest and stuff just comes down to a fucking crapshoot. If you get fucking lucky enough to get fucking like a legendary card or an epic card, you can fucking go weeks without fucking getting anything worth worth of shit. And you can have other people fucking pick up the game, and a day later we'll fucking get three epics or something. It's I hate RNG like that. It's like the fucking supply fucking the crypto fucking boxes and fucking and the supply crates and fucking Call of Duty. I can't stand it. That shit's annoying, but it's just. It's so sad. Like you'll you'll go in a match, and you'll see someone has like cards. Like you're you're in the same trophy range stuff, but their cards are like th three levels higher than you, or their towers are a level or two higher than you. But they're in the same trophy range, but they should be better than that, which I don't understand. But it's because you can buy better cards and stuff, but you can't buy skill. But in this game, skill can only get you so far. You're not going to be able to overcome certain card levels and stuff unless the guy's literally just freaking drooling out the side of his mouth, <laughs> fucking playing a game like that, just fucking using his fucking meat hook across the fucking screen and shit, not even paying attention to what he's doing. But like I said, it's a fun game. It just needs some changes. Definitely needs some balance changes. I wish they were a little quicker about that. The goddamn bomb tower, the freeze spell, and the mortar and all that shit has been overpowered for fucking the last few weeks. Nothing. Still haven't changed it. But they're worried about get, getting rid of the modders and stuff. Mm. Probably because the modders aren't giving them enough money. Because they, if they were giving enough money, I don't think they would really care if they modded. Just like Clash Clans. Just like their other games, Super Cell made Clash Clans. Last update was all about getting more money. Because it, it affected like 1% of the base. Or the, the people that play the game. They're going to go to the next town hall and just spend money on gems and stuff. To gem everything and finish it off. This is just gonna be a short little rant today about how I Clash Royale, like a fun game. I, I it's probably the most the game I play the most on my, my phone and stuff. But it's it's infuriating and the pay to win pay to win mentality of the game is just fucking irritating. 
And I, I, that shit in gaming needs to stop and just needs to be taken out. But anyway, let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. And I hope you have a great day. See you later.